What's going on guys, Fierce Spartans here in today's video. We got a couple updates for you on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. It's going to be a little bit shorter of the video because there's not a huge amount of information with these updates, but I just want to let you guys know about them if you guys already haven't heard about them. So the first of which, it's double tier weekend right now on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So for all the Blackout players and multiplayer players, try to get your tiers in now, especially if you're trying to get up all the way to tier 200. Because normally it takes about one hour to get each tier because it's time-based. But now it's going to be about every 30 minutes, so it's probably going to take about 2 to 4 games now instead of what it used to take, like 4 to 8 games or something stupid. So definitely get your tears in now while you can, and it'll save you a lot of time down the road. I don't have the time of day anymore to play Call of Duty all day, so I'm not going to get to tier 100, 200 I don't think, but uh, maybe I can get to a little bit higher number than I would have thought. So definitely play this weekend. I'm going to be grinding a little bit more this weekend than I normally do, so yeah, the other big news is we got Nuketown coming out on Tuesday, November 13th for PlayStation 4, and a week later on November 20th for Xbox and PC players. Now, the exclusivity deal used to be 30 days, but now it's down to 7, only a week, which is really not too bad. Uh, 7 days is really not too long to wait for something, and... I think that's fine. This content is going to be free, and this version of Nuketown is going to be a snow version. So we'll see if this ends up being the holiday themed map that they may or may not give us uh, for free for the holiday season. You know, kind of how World War II did, and how Modern Warfare Remastered did as well with the Winter Crash. Uh, we'll see if this, you know, ends up being that sort of thing. Supposedly they're giving us more free content this year than ever before, so we'll kind of see if that ends up holding true or not. Uh, I don't know if they're classifying the contraband as free, because technically it is free, you just have to put a ton of time in to the game to be able to unlock everything. So it's really not free, um, but hopefully a lot of more free maps this year than ever before, and hopefully Nuketown is just the start. And we'll see how Nuketown plays, maybe they'll end up even opening up the bunker or something, like they did in Blackout, but we'll just have to wait to see if anything is different about Nuketown. I mean, they're probably not going to do any drastic changes to it honestly but you know it's always worth wondering if we'll see any drastic changes and i'll definitely be getting gameplay of that for you guys when it comes out on tuesday november 13th for playstation 4 and so if you guys have any comments you know let me know and make sure to like and subscribe if you are new and i'll see you guys on my next video thanks for watching